Need to, you know, yeah, that's all right. We don't have a liability to us to have people. No, no problem. We'll, you know? we'll take the liability. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're citizens of this county. All right. Well, I just want to make sure. I'm part Indian and I think today is a good day to die. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. You, we appreciate your comments. Well, no worry about it. Oh, I understand that very much. Yep. This is down, looking down at this pit. And they're pumping this pit out. They're calling it just clay and water for them. Why do they got to pump it out? That's our question. And that filled up from yesterday. Wasn't that filled up from yesterday? Yeah, the, the other photographer, uh, Natasha, was here yesterday, and that was not filled up, so this was filled up since yesterday. And this is the 20th of September, about noon, 2009, in Susquehanna County, Troy Road, Dinnick. This is some kind of drill bit right on the ground here by where they're pumping. And you can see some kind of pipe here too, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that's what, what they're attaching to this, that drill bit, I believe. And you can see it's all like muddy, slushy, this clay substance. And the guys are working on it. Now this is a thicker pipe. That's the kind they want to put under the ground. Is that the cranberry? Here's this thicker pipe they're putting on. This is all the way up this hill. It's a gorgeous day, sunny. Yeah, there they are pumping everything. Well, we're trying to find out where they're taking it. Couldn't get an answer from them, clear answer. the back hole here. We're climbing up up the hill here. What? What is it? We're looking at the pipe now. He has scratch marks. And so she's showing scratch marks on here. Um, this will show it better down here. Yeah. It's down to the primer. The key, the, the scratches. It looks like key marks like key on marks. a car. And then, if this is so protective, this is already scratched down so far. And if it hits rocks, because of what they're drilling, and they drag it through. Was well, this going to go underground, do you think, this part? I wonder. Like this whole thing is going underground. But down there, where they're drilling, the purpose of the drilling is... Because after that, see that caution sign? Yeah. Okay. I saw that. I took a picture From of that. From that point on, it's wetland. And huh. they cannot drive this through an open pit. They so where's the wetland? Past that sign, you mean? Or past before? that sign. Be From past that sign? From that sign on is wetland. Wetlands, okay. So they cannot just come in, cut a ditch in the ground, throw the pipe in. Apparently, they were told, they have to go under the wetland. How the hell do you get under a wetland? That's what they're doing. They're and they got drilling. permission. They got permission for that. That's what. That's how they're getting around the wetland issue how without deep? disturbing it. I wonder how deep they got to go. How deep is it so well, you don't disturb? Well, that is the questions we have to pose. That guys from the DEP. From we the got de not DEP. Who? Cabot. Get Cabot's answer. And then and compare. Then we compare it. notes with the DEP and what right. DEP was told. Right. So, without that knowledge, right now, all we can do is fact find. And what we're seeing right now, these pipes are scratched, and then they're going to drag it underneath the wetland where the land actually... Have you ever bored a hole and not had it collapse on you? A wall come in on you? So once they pull the bit out, who's to say any part of where they drilled didn't collapse? And this um, land, as you can see, rocks all over the place, acidic soil, because it's a... It's a forest which has high acidity in the, in the ground. With metal, you're talking nightmare. <laughs> Real nightmare, because like if you drag this pipe underneath where they're drilling and any part of that thing has collapsed, you're going to hit rocks, you're going to hit debris, it's going to scrape this up more, it's going to start a corrosive, the, the corrosive thing just starts going. And this is maybe a one inch thick pipe you were saying earlier, Vince? It looked like it. 
and uh, one and a half maybe at most. The, so you got meat of one inch. How long is it going to take more for? More people. So what? Just letting you know. I don't know. Here, okay. I'm not afraid. The, uh, Here's a bunch of writing on this pipe. Manufacturer's codes, and uh, that tells you how good the pipe is with the thickness. Say it again. Oh, I did. I, I looked at it. I just actually took a picture of it. Here's some trucks over here, the blue trucks from VE Tanks, VE Enterprises, Frack Tanks from Spring, Springer, Oklahoma. There's an 800 number, 800-234-2329. Gooey stuff, black, oily. It's on the ground here, outside of the pit. So you see all this right outside of the pit. Alongside of the pit, there's the pit. Fencing, they have some kind of fencing, but basically it's down. You know, it doesn't do much. The, just look what the ground looks like here. This is the ground that once was, I'm sure, full of vegetation, full of plant life. Nothing can grow in this. Take a close look up of this. It's really, I guess it's like an oil-soaked land. Photographing from there, that's Natasha where she is. And for oil on the ground, there's some kind of tarp here. Here's this black oily stuff on the ground here too. Right next to this tank, blue tanker, storage tank. They got all kinds of supplies here and storage drums. Guys are working over here. I'm just going to follow the ground here. I got boots on, my muck boots. Boys, poor soil. I hope the soil and the earth forgives us what we've done to it, I'm sure, all over the earth, all over the world. We have to find a better energy source from what I can see. That's more gentle, that's very gentle to the earth. Here's more soil. It's got this gooey stuff on it. Black oily substance. I'm walking on it and it's like on my boots. My poor boots. Gotta ask these guys what's what's good to clean it off. We came from that area, that's where the we followed that pipe. From the other side on Troy Road to get to this part. It was a long climb. I got some kind of stuff here and it says mineral something or other. And then there's a black tank. Then they got stuff here like defoamers. Mega defoamers. Caution. Not regulated by DOT as a hazardous material. From Tyler, Texas. What do you know? I have a sister that's in Tyler, Texas. Got a bunch of stuff from Texas here we're seeing. Being represented. Mega fluids. Five gallon. It says warning. What kind of warning on the labels? There's a whole pile of, there's a whole pile of them. Got bentonite here. Premium gel. 